As a software developer, I understand better than the average gamer why features in Dreams take a long time to implement. The main reason being QA testing, so making sure there are no bugs or negative interactions between other features. I've been thinking, what are some things that they can add to Dreams that wouldn't take months to play test and bug fix? I was able to come up with five features that Media Molecule should add to Dreams that won't take ages to implement. Starting with the feature that I believe would be the absolute easiest, multiplayer. Uh, wait a second, not sure how that got there. Thermo percentages. You're probably thinking, Acer, they already added that a couple of updates ago. And I would agree. The issue is that the only way to see these magical extra decimals is to go not one menu deep, but two menus deep. This completely defeats the purpose of them. If you care about the extra precision, you want to see the changes immediately. Being forced to go two layers deep into a menu just to see them is nonsensical. There is clearly room to display them in the current on-screen display. The best solution, in my opinion, would be to add a setting under Dream Shaping that the player can toggle, which will hide or show the extra numbers. Now, honestly, I think they should just always show them, but this is the best of both worlds. The reason this is simple to implement is because it's literally just changing how a number that is already being displayed is formatted. This second feature was actually already in the game and then was removed, presumably because it didn't work perfectly? I, I don't know. That feature is of course wire peaking. During edit mode, you were able to hover over a wire and view the values that were within the wire. This feature was extremely useful for debugging. I don't know why they removed it, but similar to the first feature on this list, it should be very easy to implement because it just has to do with displaying data. The hardest part of the implementation is how it's formatted, which should be relatively easy. This feature wouldn't cause any bugs because it's, again, just displaying data. Editor Acert here. It looks like this feature is coming in the next update. So that's freaking awesome. Not much else to say besides good job, Media Molecule. Thank you. Now we're starting to get into the new stuff. A custom rotation angle for the grid would be a completely new feature and an extremely helpful one at that. Currently in grid mode, rotations are locked to 45 degrees. I'm suggesting that the amount of degrees per rotation can be changed by the player instead of being locked at 45. Or if that's asking too much, at least let the player change it in increments of five. It goes without saying, but this feature would be insanely helpful for my current project, um, at the least, that is dealing with hexes. Each side is a rotation of 60 degrees, so the locked 45 degrees um, rotation of the grid is pr pretty much completely useless for me. Assuming in the code, the rotation amount is basically just a number, the hardest part about the change would be designing the UI. Um, I would imagine the UI to be simply like identical to how the grid size has changed. A minus button, then the value, and then a plus button, with the button subtracting or adding uh, five respectively. This one sounds a little bit niche, but I promise you it would be extremely helpful and hopefully easy to implement. Destroying logic is an integral part of optimizing in Dreams, and the only way to do it is with destroyers. The problem is that when you put a destroyer in a chip, it will destroy the chip along with whatever else the destroyer is wired to. The only way to avoid the automatic destruction of whatever it's snapped to is to not snap the chip to anything, but this can be very annoying in certain situations. Adding a checkbox to the destroyer that, when checked, prevents the destruction of what the chip is snapped to would make using destroyers so much easier. This change may be annoying depending on how gadgets affecting what they are snapped to is implemented, but hopefully being able to disable this is possible because if it is, then this feature would be very easy to implement. And finally, the feature I want the most that I truly believe would not be difficult to implement, frame stepping i.e. the ability to step one frame into the future on the press of a button. This would be the single biggest debugging improvement that Media Molecule could add to Dreams. Countless times I've needed to see exactly what is happening frame by frame in my logic, and being able to proceed one frame at a time would be invaluable in those situations. This feature could be taken even farther by allowing the player to set how many frames each step uh, lasts. There could even be a gadget that would automatically pause edit mode if powered on. 
but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a reason this list doesn't have any new gadgets. At the bare minimum, while playing in edit mode, I would like the player to be able to step a single frame into the future with the press of a button. At first glance, this sounds like a pretty difficult thing to implement. But the reason I think this feature belongs on this list is because it's technically already in the game, but you have to do it manually. The player can just play, then pause one frame later. So basically all this feature is, is the game automatically pausing after one frame. So if you press the frame step button in the code, it would play, then literally just wait a frame, then pause, which is why I don't think implementing this feature would be that difficult. In fact, if there was a gadget that paused the game in edit mode when powered on, we could create this feature ourselves. Lord knows there are so many things I want added to dreams that aren't on this list, which is why I wanted to make this list. The majority of features players ask for are either impossible or will take a very long time to create and test. The features on this list hopefully won't. If you have any features that you think could also be on this list, let me know in the comments. If you work at Media Molecule as a programmer, I'd unironically love to hear why these things actually will take a very long time and why I'm completely wrong. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.